up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm super stoked about today's video. Um, the Duramax is going through a transformation. Um, in a couple of my videos I talked about how my tail light was bubbling. Well, I took care of that right away. I was going to make a video on it, but there just wasn't enough content to make a video on changing my tail lights, changing my third brake light. There, there just wasn't a lot out there. But today is exciting because I've been driving around with no back bumper. I mentioned it in my last video that I had no back bumper. It's on its way. I even mentioned that I was doing the tail lights in the video, but the tail lights got here, the bumper wasn't here, got delayed. Got delayed a literally less, a little bit over a week delay because I guess they were snowed out back there and came from Texas. So today I guess is the bumper reveal day. I got it, it came in. I got the lights literally two days after I ordered it, so let's go right into it. Oh yeah, it's a Boondocks bumper, which is pretty nice. The only thing I don't like about the bumper is the welds on the outside. But other than that, they're clean. They're, it's not like they stand out. I went ahead and got this bumper because it was on sale. I got it a little under a thousand for the lights and everything. So. It was perfect shipping. There's a couple dings. Like there's a scratch there. There's a scratch right here. Um, not very big issue. There's a scratch right here. But other than that, the shipping was fine. Came all the way from Texas, multiple trucks. The package was open, so I just went ahead and opened it instead of opening it, you know, for the camera. I had to make sure that it was all there, had the hardware. These lights surprisingly hold my license plate and they're little lights. I'm worried about kicking them or breaking them, but we'll see how it goes. If I do break them, I can just order like a little light bar for right there. But you have to, in California, you're required to have these for your license plate lights. I'm sure anywhere else you're required to. Got all the bolts and hardware right there, so I gotta get one more bracket off and it should be fine. I got a bunch of firewood in my truck right now. Blah, blah, blah. I got to get these final brackets off. And that's what I'm doing right now. So. All right, let me give you guys a little update. Took my bottom lights off. Took my bottom lights off. Got the wires hanging there. There's no point in me rewiring it all because I already have the wires right here. So my thought was is that they gave me a whole new wiring harness which is, it has different connectors. I already have a fuse, switch, and everything, so I'm thinking of cutting these off, you know, maybe like way down here, just in case I might do it again. I'm thinking of cutting these off and splicing them to the, other, the new wires. But so far I got one of them in the bumper. And oh my God, it looks great. I love how they have the quick disconnects on them. So, otherwise I would have just spliced it here. But I love how you can do this because if I gotta take the bumper off, I just quit disconnect that. Now, with that being said, these do not have quick disconnects. So, every time I gotta take the bumper off, I gotta either take these off or I gotta splice them every time. So, and I'm taking the bed off soon when I 4x4 the truck. So I might have to take the bumper off when I go to take the bed off, I do not know but I'll know in the future. So I might just have to splice those one more time, which is okay. But other than that, it's coming together. Now, I don't know why these are two different size holes, but they are. And I'm either gonna have to get a bigger screw or just put a, a washer over it, and then tack those into the bumper. Well, it's gonna be above this, but it's gonna be on the bottom of the bumper. That's so I can run my air tools, so. But I need a bigger tank. I only have a two and a half gallon tank right now. I'm gonna go up to a 10 gallon tank, so. All right, guys. I'm gonna get these lights mounted and then get the bumper mocked up and then wire it all in. So, just kind of giving you a quick heads up on what I'm doing. Is that all the way on? I believe so. Alright, sure is. Are you good now? Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I can get it from here. Thank you, baby. 
I just got the bumper on. I got rear-ended a little while ago. I don't know if you guys know. Um, when I got rear-ended, I totaled out a Mercedes. Yeah, totaled out a Mercedes. They hit my hook. It's on my truck right behind me, the red hook. And come to find out, they tweaked my, my tow receiver. So it was a little challenging getting the bumper on and lined up. So I, I spent literally an hour just sitting here loosening and tightening. It's still not even on each side. It's about a centimeter off, maybe not even that. And then this gap, see I could fit my finger in there pre pretty tight. And then I could fit it in there kind of loose. So it's not 100% perfect, but it's a lot better than what it was. It was a little doozy, but there it is. I got the lights all mocked up. I got my, my um, license plate on. I do not know where I'm going to put this though. There's no spot really underneath my bumper. I was going to do this, but then it might kink my hose. So I'm thinking of just going under here and maybe mocking it up like that or turning this around to where I can do this. Maybe doing that. But I don't want a bunch of dirt and smeg to get in there. So I just don't know where I'm going to put this yet. But it is a good feature. If you want to air down your tires, and you air down to like 10 pounds and have to drive home, you know, I, it's everything's an hour away from me. So I'm not going to drive home with 10 pounds in my tires. So it's a lot better than carrying around an air tank and then running out of air. So it's, it's constant fed air, you know, it's, and plus I got it for my airbags and my train horn. So it was just a good idea to throw this in. But like I said, I'm getting a 10, 10 gallon tank. I have not yet hooked this up. I do not have my wire strippers they are actually in my dad's truck. So I'm going to have to stop this video right here. It might be, a, you know, another hour or so till my dad gets back. But I will have this hooked up by tonight. Truck is looking great, guys. Uh, I never even thought I'd be this far with it. Um, this is my, like I said, this is my first diesel build. Um, I'm going to be doing the front end soon. Stay tuned for that. June is going to be that. So I'm going to be tearing out the whole front end for linking it. Straight axle swap, the whole nine yards, you know, king coilovers. This is going to be the end of this video. Stay tuned for more. June is when I do the big build on the truck. It's two-wheel drive. That's the reason why I'm going straight axle. Um, stay tuned, June. June is going to, it's going to finally be four-wheel drive. I can't wait. Well, I start it in four-wheel drive. I'm starting on my birthday. So that's the birthday gift I'm giving to myself is a four-wheel drive diesel. And I still have insurance for two-wheel drive, so I fucking love it. <laughs> Alright guys, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. White Boy Chevy out! <laughs>